Previously on Due <sighs> South. Yes. Well, I'll do. He died 30 years ago. Ray! Ray? Ray Vecchio. Ray Vecchio? Oh, dear. Muldoon has weaponry for sale and a buyer. He just needs somebody to broker the deal. I was under the impression I was going to meet someone called Armando Langostini. You are? So who the hell is Ray Vecchio? How the hell should I know? Look, you be Ray Vecchio because you were Ray Vecchio to start with. And uh, who am I? It could be Stanley Kowalski. OK. Later, Stanley. Sir, your mother was a pretty woman, Benton. But when I shot her, she dropped like a big old sack of potatoes. But where are you going now? To tend to something I should have tended to a long time ago. I'll come back. Until I do, stay alert. And get Muldoon for me. And for your mother. Do you mind he's still always get your man? We try to. Go get him, Benny. What the hell was that? You're all afraid of being your mother as her callback! <laughs> Not dead, Fraser Knight. Good. Not good at all. Benton Fraser, you're getting to be damn near as irritating as your father was. Throw them out when we're over the ice fields. They'll be lost forever. Ice field? What the hell's an ice field? It's a field of ice. The Yank tends to miss the obvious, doesn't it? Sometimes. Sometimes. Well, what is it the rest of the time? Well, it would still be a field of ice. Both of you. Just shut up. Oh, he's rude. Why do villains have such hard heads? We got a major smuggler who deals in dangerous weapons. They have an unknown buyer and an unknown objective. Okay, keep your ears to the ground and work your snitches. Let's remember, we got two missing officers out there. There'll be no vacations, there'll be no leaves. And no sleep for anybody, which means we work 24 hours a day, eight days a week, which comes out to exactly 11,520 minutes every week. We want to break out the plastic hoses on this one, guys. We want these suspects sweating between the ears. We. The floor is yours, Harding. All right, let's get to work. Huey, Dewey, you talk to the guy we picked up and I'll cut trucking. Any word on your brother? Well, they moved him on to another ward, but he's still got a bullet in him. Lucky guy. He's still got a bullet in him. But it didn't kill him, did it? That was a golden bullet. The world's his oyster now. To retire at full pay, do anything he wants to do. Any word from him? Hey. Thank you. We're in trouble, aren't we, Fraser? Well, you know, throw him a bone, son, something encouraging. Yes, we are in big trouble. That's encouraging? There. What are you doing? What are you doing? Do mine, do mine, do mine. Well, a good time. First of all, we need to determine what this aircraft's destination is. We already know that, Fraser. Death. The destination is death. Now, do mine. Come on. Can I borrow your chewing gum? Wait. I'm going to stick it in my ear, please. I don't get you. We're about to get tossed out of a plane, and you're making some arts and craft wire sculpture type thing. No, no, no. What I'm going to attempt to do is to plug it into the satellite uplink, hopefully intercept some of the binary information from the airplane's communication system. Wire and dumb? We're in luck. 
Muldoon was in the process of organizing a rendezvous. My guess is it's connected to the second stage of his plans. How'd you get that from a piece of wire? It's That's good. not important. What is important is we now have the coordinates for the rendezvous. 70 degrees north by 125 degrees west. If memory serves, that's Franklin Bay. It's not important. What is important is for you we're going to get tossed out of the plane onto a nice field. Well, that too. But rest easy. I have no doubt that Inspector Thatcher is organizing a rescue party in as we speak. The car's ready and the flight leaves in exactly 72 minutes. Uh, sir, I'm nervous. You see, I've never flown before, and quite frankly, I've never been more than 10 stories off the ground. And this airline you've chosen, is it reputable? Rest easy, Constable. It's the only airline that matters. Chicken, fish, full body massage. You're absolutely right, sir. No other way to go. Hey, Jer. You ever hear of the Iguana family? Yeah. How about a guy by the name of Armando Langostini? The bookman? Of course. I mean, in my line of work, that's a guy you look up to. I mean, he'd kill you for a parking spot. And what would you think about a guy who got on the wrong side of Armando Langostini? <laughs> I'd say the guy's pretty stupid. Here? The bookman? Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm... Yep. Okay. Muldoon met this guy a couple of times. The buyer. Give me a name. I'm bad with names. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He had like a code. A uh, code name. Uh, one seven F O C seven six. I think I can take him. Ray, patience. Look, this is no time for patience. Look, all I gotta do is draw him a little closer. Ray. It's okay, don't sweat it, don't sweat it. I'm gonna do it your way, okay? All right. <sighs> Excuse me! <sighs> Henchman. <sighs> Uh, it would be very much appreciated if you were to throw down your weapons of mass destruction and surrender yourself to my, uh, partner and myself. Okay. Dolphin boy. Hey! Oh. You always like this? Well, I'm, I'm sorry, he's somewhat impulsive, and, uh, I think that actually what he wanted to say, Ray... Uh. Dolphin boy? Look, this isn't gonna hold him for long. Remind me, Fraser, is there some sort of thing about shooting a gun off in a plane? Well, it depends on the altitude. If you're up high enough, any puncture in the airplane's skin could cause a massive depressurization. And well, just imagine that you were, say, a bowling ball being sucked through 40 yards of garden hose. One, seven, F, O, C, seven, six. Oh, fuck. Hey, watch how you pronounce that. It may not fly on television. But I, shh, we're getting nowhere fast here. You gotta be on the wrong track. Track? Track. Train. What train? Train track. Train. Train. Look, I got it. 1776, 1776, the War of Independence. F-O-C, Fathers of Confederation. We've tangled with these clowns before. Yeah, but the Bolt brothers are both doing life in the federal pen. Well, then, let's run down all their visitors. Who came, when they came, and where they went. Mm. An extended family is a good thing, isn't it, Cyrus? Yes, it is, ah, Cousin ah, Randall. Ah. It is indeed. One visitor in the last month, Cyrus Bolt, cousin on his father's side, right out of Idaho. We got his whereabouts? ATF crime data has Cyrus Bolt checked into the Meridian two weeks ago. He hasn't checked out. Pick him up. <laughs> you got a plan? You bet I do. We're gonna jump. You're not gonna cut and run, son. Are you out of the airplane? Well, it's either that or they shoot us. It happened to me. It's not so bad. This stuff ought to keep us warm. Ah. All right. Yes, Toss me a parachute. Well, you know, that's the really exciting part of this plan, Ray. There are no parachutes. Hey, Jeffrey Elbow. Open that damn door! Oh, it's small and bottomless, so it should be... Well, it should be like falling into a dude bay. Yeah, I'm gonna take my chances here. All it off its goddamn hinges! Ray, look! Turtles! Turtles? See what the run they move, gentlemen! See you in hell, Benson! Ray? You all right? I'm under 30 feet of snow. How could that be all right? Well, you're alive. Start digging. 
You break something in your face? Not that I'm aware of. Look, we're a hundred miles from nowhere and a frozen wasteland, and you're grinning like an idiot. I'm home. Here, the United States Constitution, Second Amendment, a well regulated militia being necessary for the security of a free state. The rights of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Man, you drag me in here to answer the uh, Nancy Boy laws just because I happen to have a couple of guns. A couple of guns, huh? How about 600 grenade launchers, 1,100 assault rifles, 450 flamethrowers, and an unknown number of small arms? So I'm a sportsman. And a licensed arms dealer with a well-regulated militia, all perfectly legal. A well-regulated militia? How about a bunch of losers running through the woods with enough firepower to flatten a Sears tower? You ever see a maggot crush? I'll crush you, you motherfucker! Oh, Bash! Book him! Book. I'll talk to a judge. You'll be out in no time. Take him! Nobody call me my mouth! Call me my mother! Hold on! sometimes somebody gets lost in the system, even their lawyers can't find them for a few days. Human tragedy, sir. Yeah. Fraser, I'm not up to this. My idea of health is a cup of coffee without sugar. I'm not fit. I mean, I'm fit. I'm, I'm city fit. I'm just not snowshoe fit. Got to keep going, son. Got to keep going, Ray. Crack the weasel to his lair. Muldoon's rendezvous is two days from now. If we take a direct route, we should be able to intercept him. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Two days from here? That's right. So. Wait forward, heels up, place it on your toes, and away we go. Where are we going to sleep? Sleep? When I went after Muldoon, I went full out. Eight days and eight nights. I slept on my feet. <laughs> Was that not exciting or what, sir? Worst four hours of my life. Here we go. Ah, sorry, sir. Oh. Meg, that's a perfect timing. Just firing up a moose hawk here wrapped in wild boar tongue, smothered with gorgons all the cheese. <laughs> Delightful. <laughs> Buck Frobisher, this is Constable Turnbull. Turnbull, uh, Buck Frobisher. Turnbull, good to see you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ah. 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 So, Buck, you only have dog sleds here. No uh, snowmobiles? No uh, snowmobiles take gas, Inspector. I thought you had gas, sir. Oh, we have plenty of gas, son. Just why waste it? Just throw down some tallow for the dogs, then they run forever. <laughs> Beef? <laughs> Throw some tallow down for the dog, will you? Speaking of tallow, sir, I've got a half a mind to strap on the old feed bag myself. Yes, Turnbull, you do have half a mind. What I need is a good hot bath. Well, nothing in the way of a bath here. Never felt the need for it myself. So there are people who do just go outside and roll around in the snow. <laughs> Brent, or well done. Fraser, you ever get the feeling that, uh, you know, you're lost? Quick look to the stars or the sun, you can always find your location. No, I don't mean where you are, I mean who you are. Oh. When I first came to Chicago, I felt as though I was from another planet. Which you are? Which I've come to accept. Everything was unknown. And at times it was frightening. I felt as though I was an explorer, an urban explorer. I remember one time we were on a stakeout and I was trying to explain the sense of otherworldliness to the detectives. I was telling them the story of Sir John Franklin who set out to discover the Northwest Passage. But I realized as I was telling the story that they'd all fallen a... The Yank won't survive this, huh? 
You might have to, you know, leave him in the snow. Do you ever listen to yourself, to what you're actually saying? I know, I can't help it. Muldoon is tearing at me. I can't sleep, can't eat. You can't sleep or eat because you're dead. You're also very pale. I can practically see through you. Oh, trick of the northern lights. Find them. After we sleep, we need sleep, I know. Except me, of course. Nobody locks up Cyrus Bolt and lives to see their grandchildren. Yeah, well, it's a big building with a big system. Mistakes happen. This is Mr. Bolt's release order. Ah! Mr. Bolt! Step aside, you ineffectual piss ant. Just what is this big deal you got cooking? Bigger than you have the capacity to imagine. Somebody on this guy day and night. I got the days. You got the nights. Pardon. I'm sorry, I don't think I've had the pleasure. Stella. Stella Kowalski. Ray Vecchio. The real Ray Vecchio. Uh, 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 uh. Ray, can we take a nap? Soon, Ray. Soon when? As soon as we get over that. Relax, Ray. I, I can't. Just look above you. Yeah, I, I can't. One hand after another. I can't. I got you. I got you. I got you. It's easy, you know. These aren't my underwear. She's up to her beautiful neck in hot water. We've been tracking Cyrus Bolt. He just took off a tuck to yuck tuck. We think he's en route for a meeting with Muldoon, destination unknown. Could you pass that on to us? We'll do. Turnbull, I need a towel. I like this freezer. It just reminds me of a swing set I had when I was a kid. Ray. Whee! Ray. Whee! Ray. Ray. Whee! Ray. Hypothermia, son? Possibly. Put your legs in a hammock. It's time to go to sleep. Here. Wrap up. Anything you say, freezer buddy, buddy, calamari. Is the yank gonna make it? Chicky, chicky. Oh, Lord. I don't know. My ass is numb. I don't know. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy kingdom shall be done on this as it is in heaven. Here. Inspector Thatcher? She's up to her pretty neck in Mounties. Hold the line. Thatcher? Yeah, Bolt's plane never made it to Tuck to Yuck Duck. He dropped out of sight south of there around uh, Franklin Bay. <sighs> Franklin Bay. Hardly a precise location. <laughs> Your mother and I were once trapped in a terrible blizzard on our way to Resolute to pick up supplies. I thought I was done for. Your mother, too. She still looked a lot better than the Yank does now. Well, what did you do? We pushed on through the cold and the pain. We kept each other going. Because that's what partnership is all about. Razor, you got this hypothermia thing because you seem to be talking to yourself. Oh, possibly. 
Okay. Well, Fraser, just listen to me. You gotta push through the cold and the pain and keep moving, because that's what partnership's all about. There's red ships and green ships, but there's no ships like partnerships. Ray, Ray, you're starting to blither. Well, I'm ready. Well, I'm cold and so on. My, my, my back is hurting from the weight of the power. <laughs> Move out! Top of the world, Ma! Top of the world! That's a wonderful movie! Jimmy Cagney, Virginia Mayo, White Heat, 1949. <laughs> Look, Fraser, I just climbed my first mountain. I need a moment to try it. Oh, right, of course. Well, please, go ahead, Ray. Oh, well, there, that was good. Now, let's see what we're gonna do about getting down. Down? I love down. Down is a piece of cake. Down is fun. Down is great. Down Stop. is... Down is dangerous. This is the ice field that we're gonna drop us on. Fissures abound. Move slowly. Fissures? Yeah. Deep cracks in the ice, frequently snow covered. The ice is full of deep cracks? Is that what you're telling me? Yes. Now, Franklin Bay is that way. You know, Ray, you have to think of an ice field like, well, a minefield. Now, if you. Minefield? Oh, 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 Ray! Whoa! Get us out, right? You're gonna use some of that uh, northern uh, folklore type stuff and get us out, right? Not this time. We are well and truly trapped. Give me your gun. Help! <sighs> 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 I just have to wait and hope that that in this vast, unpopulated, untraveled wilderness, that somebody sees it. And if nobody notices it, and we die. Well, for all we know, they could be, well, they could be stuck in a block of ice somewhere or something. I mean, it's not like I care, it's just. You care. Do you think so? Mm-hmm. I think you have a generous heart. Well, thank you, Stella. Oh, please. You know, when I ate it all up, I only got one regret. And I never went on any uh, kind of real adventure. You don't consider being trapped 200 feet down an ice crevasse an adventure? No. More like, uh, you know, finding the, you know, the top of the Nile or the, the tomb, King Tut's tomb. Uh, Dating a supermodel, uh, oh. Franklin. Uh, well, it was Franklin. Why am I thinking Franklin? <laughs> In 1845, Sir John Franklin set off in search of the Northwest Passage with two boats, the Erebus and the Terror. Mm. And he was last seen navigating Peel Sound, July 26th. You know where he found him? No. Many went in search of his hand, reaching for the Beaufort Sea, but none found him. Hmm. I get out of this, uh -huh. I live through this, I gotta find that hand. I gotta find the ever reaching out hand. It might be the hand of death. Yeah, well, I faced it. What did you do? I sang. Of course, it was Abbas, so it sort of spoiled the romantic effect, but. Yeah, I sing. Then we should sing. What, SOS? No. Ah, uh, for just one time, I would take the Northwest Passage yeah. to find the hand of Franklin reaching for the Beaufort Sea, tracing one warm line 
through a land so wide and savage and make a northwest passage to the sea. Westward from the Davis. Delmar, how are you doing? Oh, you know, uh, a bit stuck. Hey, good to see you. Yeah. It's been, what, since grade four? Yeah, at least. God, I love grade four. So, you boys want out, or are you okay where you are? Out, out be good. Yeah. Okay. Grade four. He was, he was held back a bit. Well, guess I'll be getting on my way. Well, I thank you kindly, Delmar. Uh, uh, where are you headed anyway? Through uh, the north. Oh, oh. Yeah, how to get out of this wilderness rat race. Yeah. Country's getting too crowded. Uh, There's a couple of hunters over at Project Valley. There's some guys with heavy armament over at Diamond Head and 10,000 feet up on Mount Sublime. There's a soccer team eating each other. Would you mind repeating that? Yeah, Argentine soccer team there eating each other. Eating themselves up on No, that. no, no, not that. The part about the heavy weaponry. Diamond head. Yeah, all decked out in black. Snowmobiles, the whole thing. Uh, anyway, Benton, good to see you. You too, Delmar. Ah, great for, huh? Sticks with being like a ball of gruel. <laughs> uh, hey, be safe. You too. They all like that around here? Like what? I mean, the territory is largely unpopulated. Like, uh, Grizzly Adams, kinda, kinda nutty like that. Well, for the most part, yes. Oh, Benton, there's also a bunch of outies over at King's Creek. King's Creek, son. Gotta get to King's Creek. King's Creek, Ray. So what, we're, we're changing plans? Yes, we've gotta get the rendezvous coordinates to the Buck Frobisher at King's Creek. Climb aboard. Ben, just in time. I'm firing up a little moose hook. Good trip. A delicious meal, sir. Ah, thank you. We should be able to make Bolt's rendezvous by midday tomorrow. Mm-hmm, yes. Is, uh, is he around here by any chance? His father, I mean. No. No. You know, he never told me about my mother. So what could he say? That he was a flawed individual, that he failed your mother, failed you. He was half mad with grief, Benton. He did what he could, what he knew. He became a murderer. Oh, Dune laughed at him. Laughed in his face. That's a wee too harsh on him, Benton. I'm not so sure about this uh, rendezvous. I mean, we only got uh, half a dozen mounties, and they got 40 armed uh, men. The odds are kind of funky. Well, it isn't any good if there's no challenge, you know. Well, I think I'll uh, go lay down some tallow for the dog. <laughs> Deepman Baker. <laughs> uh, bad man, I think. <laughs> Hounds these days. <laughs> so if uh, we live through this, uh... When we get back to Chicago, I guess you'll partner up with uh, Vecchio? That's okay, because he's a good guy. You worked with him for a while. You know, Ray, my father and Buck Frobisher were partners for more than 20 years. In their territory is thousands of miles. Sometimes they wouldn't see each other for months. But no matter how far apart they were, they always knew that they were partners. I'm not sure if you... Fraser? Duty. Burks. 
I've been thinking about the matter of our transfer. You know, I look out into this cold, barren, empty landscape where any mistake could be your last, where you're surrounded by endless miles of silence with only yourself for company, and, and I can't think of a life less appealing. But obviously, it is where you belong. Yes, sir, I think it is. So then this could be our... Possibly. Then maybe we should... They have called this day the 11th of March. And whomsoever of you gets through this day, unless you are shot in the head or somehow slain, you will stand at tiptoe whenever you hear the name again. And you will get excited at the name March the 11th. We happy few, we few, we band of brothers. Our names will be as like household names. And those who are not here, be they sleeping or doing something else, they will feel themselves sort of crappy because they are not here to, to join the fight on this day, the 11th of March. Move out. I've sent for reinforcements, sir. Just in case. Good thinking, Frazier. We're gonna get him, Caroline. Promise you. Promise. Look, you're making me dizzy. You're making me dizzy. You know, it's the not knowing that's making me crazy. <laughs> no knowing those two, they could be standing in the middle of a frozen lake right now, staring at a map. You sure this is the place? Well, these are the coordinates. 125 degrees west by 70 degrees north. What the hell was this? That's just the ice cracking beneath us. Ice cracking? That's not uncommon, Ray. It's caused by the ebb and flow. This is a fjord that opens out to the sea. Why the hell would he want to meet here in the first place? I mean, why wouldn't he want to deliver his guns in the warmth and safety of uh, any American city? <laughs> Bob, wondering where you've been. You look a little pale. I'm still dead. Uh, yes, well, I'm having a hard time believing that. Well, there you are, then. Oh, well, here's another story. With my regrets, we'll get Muldoon for Caroline. For Caroline? Oh, forgot. Trouble. What? Great Scott. Warm up. Warm up. Husband, your ammunition. Shoot to kill. Or if not, at least to hurt them enough so they'll give themselves up. Is that normal? It's perfectly natural, Ray. You see, the movement of the sea under the ice causes it to heave and crack.
of course, is to be expected in a firefight, but we have plenty of loot on the plan. That's that plus. out of a bunch of potato bombers from Idaho. Wish me luck. That you don't need. like you picked up your dad's DNA for determination. <laughs> like I was saying, you don't quit very easily. I don't give up ever. Well, I would consider that a character flaw if I were you, because I'm now going to have to kill you with my bare hands. You won't be doing any more killing. Who said that? Remember back 29 years. Six Mile Canyon. Bob Frazier? You, you were shot. You're dead. So are you. Oh, no. This can't be real. It's real enough. How could he see you? Because I want him to. You cross a Mountie, he'll hunt you to the grave. He'll hunt you from beyond the grave. Dad, stop. This was wrong 29 years ago. And it's wrong now. Then what am I doing here, son? I think you've been given a chance to try and get it right. Will you take him in? Oh, yes. There is one thing I'd like to do. And what would that be? I don't know why anyone ever does that. Lord, that hurts. What? Fading. I've solved my last crime. I caught my last man. No reason to hang around. Should I, uh... I thought you were permanent. Oh, son. Nothing's permanent. Caroline? Mom.
floating face down in a river of regrets and the thoughts of you. Life continues. Detectives Jack Huey and Thomas Dewey realized their dream of the one-liner. Now, what do you call a fish with no eyes? And their comedy club played to marginal houses for a long time. Constable Turnbull decided to run for public office. Oh, 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 oh. Hello. But his campaign got off to a rocky start when he was run over by his campaign bus. Stop! My old partner, Ray Vecchio, did indeed cough up the golden bullet. And he and Stella moved to Florida where they opened up a bowling alley. Francesca Vecchio made the cover of Life magazine with a record six immaculate conceptions. And she loved her babies as though they were her own. Does anyone have the answer? Lieutenant Welsh stayed behind his desk because that was where he belonged. And now for international news. Inspector and Thatcher transferred to the Canadian Security and Intelligence and Service where she was instrumental in the destabilization and overthrow of several world dictators. The ice queen. And as for Ray, or should I say Stanley Kowalski, Sergeant Frobisher geared us up with Tack and Talo, and led by Diefenbaker, we set off, Ray and I. We set off on an adventure. And when we looked below, he saluted. Godspeed, Benton. Sergeant Frobisher saluted, and I saluted back. And off we went to find the hand of Franklin reaching for the Beaufort Sea. And if we do find his hand, the reaching out one, we'll let you know. For just one time, I would take the Northwest Passage to find the hand of Franklin reaching for the Beaufort Sea. Tracing one warm light through a land so wide and savage and make a Northwest Passage to the sea. Tracing one warm line through a land so wide and savage to find the hand of Franklin reaching for the Beaufort Sea and make a Northwest Passage to the sea.